Good morning, everybody. Welcome to SourceFed. My name's Joe Beretta. Hi, I'm Elliot Morgan. You look good today. You look good today. I know. 2013 Nobel Prizes are being awarded to a bunch of very deserving people who use big words that you'll never fully understand this week. And I figured, hey, this, this is some pretty important stuff, so why don't we relay the information? Yeah, on Wednesday, the Nobel Prize for Chemistry will be announced. On Thursday, it's Literature. Friday is Peace. And next Monday will be the Day of Economic Studies. So mark your calendars. Two prizes have already been awarded, my Nobel-loving friends. That's right. On Monday, the prize for Physiology or Medicine, it's one or the other people, went to James Rothman, Randy Sheckman, and Thomas Sudhoff. These chaps will share a $1.2 million award for figuring out how cells transport molecules to and fro in their tiny little complex systems. The Nobel Committee said, through their discoveries, Rothman, Sheckman, and Sudhoff have revealed the exquisitely precise control system for the transport and delivery of cellular cargo. Disturbances in this system have deleterious effects and contribute to conditions such as neurological diseases, diabetes, and immunological disorders. Thanks, guys. I'm never going to come close to contributing to the zeitgeist quite like you. My father is very proud of you. Moving on to physics. The Nobel Prize for Physics goes to God. Particle theory creators. <laughs> Peter W. Higgs from Britain and Francis Englert from Belgium. 50 years after theorizing the existence of the Higgs boson God particle, their theory was confirmed at the black hole creating CERN particle accelerator last year. Their work helped lead to our basic understanding of uh, how, you know, all matter works. No big deal. The committee said the award was for the theoretical discovery of a mechanism that contributes to our understanding of the origin of mass of subatomic particles, and which recently was confirmed through the discovery of the predicted fundamental particle by the ATLAS and CMS experiments at CERN's Large Hadron Collider. It is being reported that Higgs and Englert are very happy. Congrats, kids! We'll report on the other prizes later in the week, but in the meantime, if you could create a new Nobel Prize category, what would it be and who would you give it to? Let us know in the comments down below. After you're done with that, please click one of the boxes in this amazing annotation that my hands are just wiggling over right now. Like our video, subscribe to our channel, and uh, we will see you guys tomorrow? Today. Today. Sometime? Really? Later. It could be anytime. You could watch these videos anytime you want. Isn't it entertainment these days, we'll you guys? Pick you up at like six o'clock though. Take oh, you to the Pizza Hut. I'm moving a little fast, I think. Yeah, well. Ask your mom if it's okay. <laughs>